What's going on? Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today, we're going to take a look at the HDR filter inside of On One Photo Raw. So let's go ahead and jump over into the computer so that way I can show you kind of what we're doing today. All right, so here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, and this photo was submitted by Andrea Beeson. She's a subscriber here on the channel. So shout out to Andrea. Thank you for sharing this image. Um, and today I've just felt like this photo, uh, if I were to approach this with an edit, it would be with HDR. So let me show you what we're going to be making today. This is the before, and this is what we will end up making after. You see, there's a lot of contrast in here and, you know, the colors are just really, really vibrant. They pop. So this is the before and this is the after. So let's go ahead and dive into what this is. All right. So here we are with the image as it is with nothing on it. All right. I didn't do anything in the develop module. So if anyone thinks that, you know, you have to develop your images before you add effects, you don't. Right. It's art. It's whatever you choose to make out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over into the effects tab and we're going to go ahead and add in the HDR look filter. It's in the center column here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And as you can see, it doesn't really do much of anything. Now you have a few presets here, right? You have your natural, uh, which is what it defaults to. And then there's the surreal, which, you know, it just adds in a little bit more of this compression. And then there's this glow, which is really nice and soft. And, uh, this gives a really nice and dreamy type of look to an HDR image. Uh, and then there's also subtle if you hit this drop down. So this is a more subtle. Uh, now, mind you, this was not a bracketed shot to the best of my knowledge, and I did not process this as multiple exposures or bracketing. Uh, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it, because for this tutorial, you don't even need to know what that is. All you have to do is hit the HDR look and boom, you're going to get something like this. Now, let's go ahead and look at some of our uh, filters here. I'm going to go back to surreal because I think that's the one that really lets you see what's going on with this filter. So the very first slider that we have is compression. Now, compression if you pull it all the way down, it's going to get the image to feel a little bit more dark. And then as you pull it up, it becomes more bright. So what it's really doing is it's putting a little bit of micro contrast into the image where the shadows are going to get uh, more bright as you bring the compression up and they're going to get a little bit darker as you bring it down. All right. So we'll go ahead and reset that. And then you have detail. Detail does exactly what you would think it does. If you pull it all the way to the left, it takes out all the detail. And if you pull it all the way to the right, it cranks in the detail. And look at that. This is like some overly sharpened image. All right. Detail slider inside of this look is very, very effective. And then clarity does something very similar. Uh, but this one, it actually darkens the photo a little bit more where detail kind of just adds in like this really nice sharpness uh, clarity it really finds those darker edges and it makes them even darker and this is why the image starts to pop uh, and it also adds a little bit of contrast into the image so clarity and detail you definitely want to get your 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 blend in there now we have highlights and shadows uh, if you bring it down, obviously, if your photo is really bright, you're going to want to bring down some of those highlights. And if it's really dark, then maybe you can bring up some of those highlights. Like if you have to do highlight recovery, this is no different than what you would see inside of the detail or the develop module. I'm sorry. The next thing we have is shadows. Same concept. 
you bring it down, the photo gets darker, you bring them up, the shadows open. All right. So if you're familiar with using the develop module, those two sliders and even the vibrant slider does the exact same thing. Uh, it really focuses in on those middle grays or those mid tones, I should say, and it either brings them up uh, and makes the picture kind of pop, makes the colors pop, uh, or it brings them down and makes them a little bit more, I can't talk, makes them a little bit more muted. So we'll go ahead and reset that. And then we have glow. And glow is a really nice effect to throw on an HDR looking image. And the last one is grunge. Now, I hate the title of this because it makes it sound like you don't want to use this, but uh, grunge mixed in with a little bit of this detail and clarity can really make the photo feel more edgy. And I guess that's the reason why they call it grunge. Uh, and this particular photo, you know, it's a weathered boat. It's been through some stuff. Uh, I think grunge is probably an appropriate term. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if you think grunge is the most appropriate term for this. You're probably wondering, okay, so Chris, how did you get this look using the HDR filter? Because that looks nothing like this. Sorry, I'm using my Wacom tablet and sometimes it doesn't actually click wherever I tap. So my bad. All right. Uh, well, as you can see, I have this curves blend mode that is applied to the image. All right. So we're going to go ahead and apply this onto the working copy. So we're going to hit add filter curves and we're going to go straight to the blend options all right i didn't do anything to the tone curve and i didn't use darken i didn't use lighten but i used overlay now you can get a similar look with soft light right soft light looks a little bit more natural and if you go back to the live stream uh, that i hosted this weekend or this past weekend may 22nd 2021 um, you can find that in the live stream playlist on the channel. I went over overlay and hot or soft. I'm sorry, overlay and soft light. These are contrast blend modes. And what it's doing here is really just finding those, uh, dark tones in the image and it's either making them pop, uh, this one and, or it's making them pop, not if it's either. So with the soft light one, I really like the way this looks. Now, over on the other, uh, the example that I showed you, I actually used overlay and I just hit soft light again. There we go. I used overlay and that's how we get to the final image. So if that's what you were going for, you can do that. Now, if you want to just back this off a little bit, because sometimes, you know, it, it, it can be a little bit much. Maybe that's where we want it to be. All right. I know that a lot of people have their reservations on HDR looks altogether. And if you should even shoot an HDR or bracket it and then merge them to an HDR image, uh, that is 100% up to you. There is a way that you can go a little bit overboard and excessive, but if you keep your edits subtle, and that's kind of the way that I teach on this channel, uh, now, obviously, there's some stylistic approaches that you will absolutely have to figure out what works the best for you. But hopefully what I showed today will inspire some of you to get out there and not be so afraid to use the HDR look on your images uh, because there's a bad stigma that people over process their HDRs. So. Let me know in the comment section below, is HDR something that you're interested in? I remember I went through a long little spout of trying to figure out HDR. And honestly, this is as close as I've gotten. I got a book on HDR and I didn't even really read it. So 
let me know in the comment section below. Do you like HDR photography or HDR editing or post-processing, whatever you want to call it? Um, or are you just a little bit more subtle and you like the natural look and would you even use the HDR filter on your photos? So if you like the video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you think there's someone that you would be able to share this with and they would benefit from it, please share it with them. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I am a content creator and I help new beginners learn how to use photo editing software so they can get their creative vision out and into the world. If that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button. If I could say it right, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, the bell icon. Yeah, hit that. So that way you can be notified whenever there are new videos posted right here on Free Will Photos. You can also join us live every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I kind of take you into the classroom and walk you step by step through photo editing as a whole and answering any of your questions. So until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.